Hello everybody and welcome back to my shop, my channel, my shop, my channel, my shop. Okay, uh, today is the same because today is about the progress of my mini lathe and today is about the slide of the saddle. At first I thought to weld the parts together but no, 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 not good. This would cause uh, tensions and distortions. Uh, and that is a kind of thing that I don't want for this component of the lathe. So what I did was to cold weld the parts together. Okay, that's not the correct term, but you will see more in details later in the show. And this is what we end up when the part will be finished. So after having cut from cold rolled my steel stock the required parts, flattened some faces and made rough some others. Right, the surface must be made uh, rough. And prepare the parts with the required holes on the sides that uh, would be difficult to make once the uh, piece is finished. These parts are, are used as um, a spacer and it has been well greased. Okay, I have to be careful uh, to not touch these two surfaces, these three surfaces, because this has been uh, made rough and uh, cleaned uh, very well with the uh, acetone. There's a little bit of um, uh, non parallelism that is not important because. Uh, then uh, there will be the, the screws that we adjust the... I eventually joined the parts together so, with epoxy resin. Is the bonding able to withstand the same force that the welding does? No experience here, but in theory it should. An alternative to welding would be brazing, but uh, that uh, would require an oven and uh, it would be impractical because uh, there are parts uh, that uh, need to be attached uh, from different sides uh, at the same time and the whole ensemble is quite cumbersome. Move a little bit, so to smear the, the resin. So suppose we have a 20 by 200 millimeters bar to attach to a 100 by 200 flat bar. With welding a seam of about 3 millimeters is created all around the piece, making a total of 1320 square millimeters. While by gluing the total surface of contact will be 4000 square millimeters, hence three times larger, and so the forces are distributed on a much larger surface. So let's wait this uh, will cure and see what will happen and, uh, and move to the next step. Oh, I didn't notice that uh, I embedded uh, a grain of dirt uh, within the epoxy and uh, one of the parts uh, went not so good as uh, expected. And um, since the, the, the epoxy takes about one week to cure completely, it was enough a good hit with a hammer to, to make the parts uh, detach and uh, and peel off uh, the, 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 the the epoxy with uh, a knife and start over again and here it is how it went uh, after gluing and uh, with this tool knife uh, uh, the excess can be removed before the resin hardened completely clearly epoxy alone is not enough so a series of pins uh, need to be pressed through the parts to provide a larger binding area and also to provide strength in the shear direction that is the weakest character of epoxy. So yeah, have to be drilled at a bunch of holes. Hmm. Oh. 
After having shot the pins, finally some permanent screws are set in place to enhance the strength. Now let's try it on the ways of the lathe.
this is the gap that uh, uh, will be adjusted with the screws um, but this is the reference so this is the flat the flat face and uh, and this face have to be made flat uh, have to be made flat um, following copying this side uh, so to do this uh, I will use a temporary uh, gib a temporary jib here oh. wow uh, uh, gluing uh, a piece of sandpaper on, uh, on top of course uh, this is not for uh, this way but uh, this part uh, then uh, will be cut uh, in two halves uh, to make uh, the both the, the the slides of the of for the two ways and I've made this in one single piece um, to uh, to to have uh, to to help me uh, follow a better symmetry for the two sides uh, and also it was simpler to to do the work because uh, uh, one you make for one you make also for the other the slide that will be used on this side uh, will maintain a, a little bit of gap here um, because um, to, to reduce the constraints uh, of the of the whole ensemble okay i lapped the two uh, faces uh, to make them uh, uh, flat and parallel to the other uh, flat reference face and um, and now it's time to cut this in two halves to to get the two slides for this for the saddle parts were cut uh, with one millimeter in excess the two parts uh, that will become the slides uh, and uh, will be attached uh, with a transverse to form the saddle of the lathe. Next time I will make a temporary saddle to install on it a rig, a makeshift rig to hold the angle grinder to try to cut the dovetails for the cross slide. Also, there will be some more electronics. I will show a new capacitive sensor and I will experiment a highly sensitive level exploring capacitive sensing. And of course, the making of the drivers for the motor of the lathe. Oh, did I mention that this lathe will be electronically controlled? Hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, like, share, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon, otherwise you won't be notified when a new upload will be available. So, thanks for watching, cheers from the apps, bye!